from the very successful Sullivan and Son television program on TBS. Please welcome Mr. Owen Benjamin. Owen, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, how's things over at the bar? Things at the bar, right now the bar is closed, but the bar will reopen on Tuesday. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we love it when the bar opens. You know, you guys should be open like 24-7. I agree. It should be almost like a uh, Rite Aid. <laughs> exactly. Oh, drive through. I guess they they frown on that, right? Yeah, even, even in Pittsburgh, uh, alcohol is not exactly legal. But good idea, though. We're from Pennsylvania. We're in Harrisburg, yeah. and uh, the the bar is centered in Pennsylvania. We understand what the liquor control board laws are like, so we had, we we don't like a, the laws sometimes, but we get it. <laughs> yeah, you get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm from upstate New York, so it's a little bit like Pennsylvania. Similar culture. The third season of Sullivan and Son is underway right now, and it's going to air again tonight on TBS at 10 o'clock. We're on our fourth episode, but this week we have uh, Brad Kozlowski, the NASCAR driver. Didn't he just win? Uh, he did just win, back -back yeah. Wins? And the funniest thing about the episode is it's about him coming to Sullivan and Son and getting lucky. He <laughs> sits on a lucky stool. The name of uh, the episode is uh, Luck of the Half Irish. And... Uh, and after he taped it, he's now winning races. And I just thought that was so funny. I mean, he's always won races, but now he's, like, considered one of the top drivers in the world. And uh, I, I think he should credit the uh, appearance on Sullivan and Son for the luck he's having. Yeah, it's not the 20 years of uh, work that he's done or his, mm -mm. you know, God-given athletic ability. It's definitely just <laughs> coming on to Warner Brothers and meeting us. Hey, exactly. Owen, could we come sit on that seat? Yeah, we need all the help we, we can get. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the whole the whole plot. Is I, <laughs> as they start charging money to sit on the seat, and everyone's luck starts turning around. Everyone needs a lucky stool in their life. Man, that is for sure. I saw a, a promo. I forget the actor's name, but he's the older one of the older guys, and he was wearing a kilt. And, Hank. Uh, Hank, yes. Yeah, Brian Doyle Murray, who, of course, wrote Caddyshack. It's uh, Bill Murray's brother. They used to do Second City together, and... Yeah, there's a, there's a scene where he wears a kilt, and he has that line. I don't, I don't know what I can say on radio. So yeah, maybe go I'll just not. No, just say go for it. it. Go for just, it. Just watch the episode. <laughs> it's a brilliant line. I didn't know that those two guys were brothers. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. And it's so funny just realizing where these guys come from, where it's like, you know, the Murray family is like an Irish Catholic Chicago family with nine brothers and sisters. And Brian was like, I wanted to meet girls, so I got into comedy, and I brought Bill. <laughs> and, and, of course, he's talking about Bill Murray. It's right. It's crazy how, the, how everything started. Just a couple of Irish guys trying to meet some chicks, and they end up becoming these huge icons. So that was his motivation to getting into show business. What was yours, Owen? Uh, very similar. <laughs> <laughs> How's it worked out for you? Well, uh, it's been good. I mean, my, another one of my motivations was uh, just owning my own car. <laughs> and that and that happened as well. So I'm pretty much living the dream. I got a girlfriend in a car. Well, it doesn't get any better than that. Exactly. Well, if you get free gas, then then it gets better. <laughs> yeah, trying to work on the free gas, but that's not happening. Talking to Owen Benjamin, you can see him on Sullivan and Son tonight on TBS. <laughs> when you belly up to a real bar, what's your go-to drink? Well, during the year, I try to do vodka sodas to try and. Uh, keep the weight off because whenever i'm fat on television i get really <laughs> angry at myself but the rest of the year i usually just go whatever beer is on tap so before you guys start taping about how far out do you start with the vodka and soda i'd say i mean this year the first episode we shot i was a male stripper and it hasn't aired yet <laughs> and so that's why i knew i had to be in good shape because i was in a like a thong like a man thong <laughs> oh so no I, I didn't want everyone to point and laugh at me Aren't you glad, though, that they gave you a heads up? Could, could you imagine if you just showed up, you know, first day on the set and they said, oh, yeah, by the way, you're going to be a man stripper? That happened to me in another episode. I, I they, Like the day of, they're like, oh, we rewrote it, so you're going to be shirtless in this scene. And I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, it gets a little intense, but it's, you know, it's fun. It's show business. Well, you got to be able to laugh at yourself, Owen. If it was written differently, being fat could have been the joke, which I would have been fine with. <laughs> But I had to be in good shape or else the joke wouldn't have worked. So it's a really weird situation I was in. So that's why I had to get in good shape. Not to mention the fact, once it goes on TV, you know it lives forever on YouTube. Oh, yeah. It, it does. And I've, and I've been chubby on uh, YouTube <laughs> and on television. And, like, looking back, I'm like, ah, wow. I should have just done one jog. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Owen. I'm going to go look you up right now. Owen Benjamin, our guest, Sullivan and Son. You can catch it on TBS Tonight at 10 o'clock. The numbers have been great this year. Last week was our highest rated episode yet. We hit 2 million. 
with uh, Kunal from Big Bang Theory did a guest star. So it's been an incredible year, and we're still rock and roll. We have 10 more episodes left, so it'll be on all summer and into the fall. And you made it to your third season, so that's a big bonus, considering we've actually talked to, didn't we talk to Steve Byrne? We did. Yeah, and and the show's still on, so that's a good run for you guys. (laughs) Yeah, that's all you can really ask for in this business. And the best thing is that it's with our friends. Like, we're friends before the show even started because Steve wrote us in to play his friends. So this is a a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I mean, you're always going to get work, but working with your friends, it just doesn't get better. Oh, that's great. Congratulations on the success, and we wish you more of it. Thank you so much. Owen Benjamin, you can see him on Sullivan and Son on TBS. Thanks, Owen. Thank you, guys. See ya. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Thank you.